Imagine if us as humans moved without any form of clothing on us. I don't even want to imagine this. Because of civilization, many African communities were able to acquire a certain way of dressing up that is accustomed to their beliefs and surroundings. Today, for many of these dressings and attires, they have been popularized around the world and maybe you are one of those people that can't distinguish exactly which dress card is from which country on the African continent. This video will help clear that for you because in this video, we share five stunning African traditional dress code attires that you should try on or at least have in your closet. But if you're new here, welcome. On the channel, we showcase the beauty of the African continent. And for more of these types of videos, please like, subscribe, and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. Hey, did you know that Swahili is one of the most spoken languages on the African continent with close to 200 million speakers on the continent and other parts of the world? Well, if you're interested in learning Swahili, we've created an easy to learn Speak Swahili for Beginners course that we believe is the best course on the market. You can check the description box at the end of this video for you to enroll for this course. Shuka. This is a traditional African clothing wear that belongs to the Maasai people of Kenya and Tanzania. The Maasai are popularly known as pastoralists and also they are known to be great warriors. Probably this is the reason for this design of clothing that they usually put on. The shuka is usually designed with a red strip running across or crisscrossing each other to create those beautiful designs. Definitely this is one of those attires that you should try on maybe on your visit to Kenya or Tanzania in the Maasai region. The kanzu is a white or creamy traditional outfit worn by men majorly in the African Great Lakes region in countries such as Burundi, Congo, Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Malawi and many more. The kanzu is a very common dressing especially at traditional functions such as weddings to accentuate a man's look at the wedding. Isidwaba. This is a very popular dress code in the Zulu culture of South Africa. The Isidwaba, which is also known as Isikaka, is a traditional skirt worn by married women in the Zulu culture. This skirt is usually made out of leather from either cowhide or the goat skin. The married woman wears this with a colored mat-like fabric on top to give her a full look. The Zulu culture states that the father to the bride is the one to give this Isidwaba to his daughter from the cowhide of the cow that the girl gets in the inception to adulthood ceremony. Kente this is a traditional African wear that can be worn by both men and women. This type of dressing originates from the Iwi and Ashanti people of Ghana in West Africa. It 
It's a handmade fabric made from strips of cotton and silk and it's a very popular type of dressing at traditional weddings in West Africa and this is definitely one of those types of dressings that you should try on. Dashiki. This is an African clothing that originates from the Iwi people of Ghana. This is a multicolored fabric and for the men, it's usually worn as a loose fitting shirt which is embroidered with a V-shaped collar. For the women, this could take up any design that the person might desire. The dashiki today cuts across the entire continent because it's worn all across the continent and even outside the continent in countries such as the USA, in Asia and so many other places around the world. Well, those are the five main attires worn across the African continent. You could let us know down in the comment section which amongst these attires looks very stunning to you and maybe where you're watching from. Remember that you can also get yourself these clothings by heading to the description box of this video for you to look out for some of these clothings. Do not forget to also like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. Thank you so much for watching. We recommend you watch this next video for you to even learn more about the African continent. Mm.